welcome to Mr. Otter Studio. Today I'm going to show you a way that I've found to organize my acrylic paints. And this method could work for any of your tube paints. Watercolor, acrylic, gouache, um, oil. And all I'm using are these, this really simple system from Ikea. And it's called the Kungsvorg. I can't ever say Ikea names right. It's called the Kungsvorg system. And you can either buy it together with like all of these other pieces so that it's hanging on the wall, or you can actually just buy this. So it's just a magnetic knife rack. And it's just the Kungsvorg knife rack. That's $20 compared to like the $150 whole system. So it's a pretty cheap way. And then these clamps that I'm gonna show you are actually the Scotty's clamps that go to, you can see part of my board over here. It's just these, and I'll show another clip of this. This board right here is the Scotty's board. And these are just the magnetic clips that go on it. So this is the clip that comes with it, the Kungsborg system. So you could use these to hook it on, but it's just a little bit harder to keep them in the same place. They're not as strong. So I, I prefer to use the Scotty's clips. You just clip in, you know, and it holds it pretty tight, even if it's full. I mean, it's not gonna, it might fall out, you know, if there's an earthquake or something, but you could probably fit 10 of these bigger acrylic paint tubes across this. I feel like it's a lot easier to use them when they're organized. A few months ago, or about a month ago, I was working on this painting. Um, this is what it looked like. And these are the paints that I used. And I just kept them here so that when I ran out, I could use more. I don't like to use a lot on my palette so that I have room to mix and then I can just add the color. So the reason I really like this is when I'm painting, I like to have the paints that I'm using nearby and available. I used to just use, you know, like this, Tupperware and I still clearly have it um, with these are acrylics just in here, but It's just kind of a mess. It's easier to not have them like so I have to dig through them um, to use them and also Eventually, I think I'll just put a whole system in where I just keep all of my paints up on the wall, but for now <laughs> For now, I'm just going for now I just use the paints that are current that I'm currently using on whatever painting I'm working on so this ship painting, I literally only use these one, two, three, four, five, these six colors for the whole painting. And that was just so everything kind of tied together and it was a really cool painting um, to work on. That's also though why I didn't get a lot of tutorials filmed because I was working on it, but hopefully now I have some time to work on some other things. So that is it and I really like the system. I love how affordable Ikea is and I also like learning different ways to use their products. And I felt like this was a really cool way to store paint and I really liked using it while I was working on um, the last painting that I did. So hopefully that's helpful for you. Please share below in the comments how you like to organize your paints, what system you use, and you know maybe later on I'll feature a video of different ways of organizing paints because this is just one of many and I just thought it was helpful and really not that um, expensive either. If you just buy the board, I think this is like $10 at Ikea. I actually wrote it down. Currently, in the year 2019, it's $16.99, so $17. And then these little clips, it's like three for $4 maybe. So pretty cheap. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you are having fun creating whatever you're creating and that this was helpful for you and have a wonderful day.